Well, there is a room tour starting right now, and I thought it would be a good moment to try to record something for the channel. Uh, so yeah, today I'm gonna be trying to use this Dragonite, Tinglu, Gargana, Skeletor, Mimikyu, Gyarados team. You didn't expect that one coming, did you? Uh, yeah, basically it's kind of bulky offense. Also, helping hand plus normal type ban extreme speed from Dragonite is terrifying, especially since you're immunized to flinch and intimidate. Uh, Tingaloo is more so of like support, so uh, the team doesn't really crumble to like bird types and stuff. Or, uh, or like that electric Hariyama, Iron Hands, you know. Although it still crumbles to that because of its bad dark typing. I hate the fact Tingaloo has a dark type. It's just nothing but trouble. And like, Spanning Force doesn't exist in this format, so it's not like it's uh, uh, an important tool to deal with some stuff. Also, Garganical is just a chant. I choose uh, Grass type Peristalize uh, so I don't get beat uh, bad by a Rutomosh. Also, I resist my own Earthquake and I'm not weak to any of the uh, uh, Flutter main types, that being. A ghost and fairy, and I'm also not weak to uh, uh, make it rain from uh, gold angle. So yeah, also Skeletor, which is awesome. By the way, this is my counteraction. Uh, my counteraction to Sun is just just to go for extreme speed, but Earth uh, plus Earthquake turn one. Uh, my Dodonzo counteraction is just to go for Unbearable Wisp and Trick Room to just burn Dodonzo, and then they're just useless. I can slack off the damage. I can taunt them. If, if I'm going to be able to, to sort so they don't rest talk, if they are that uh, anniversary set, uh, the rest talk, yes, Dodonzo sometimes uses that. But Gyarados is just my Intimidator. I, just a few moments ago, I had Proto Mosh, but uh, I wasn't satisfied with it. I mean, it did pretty good stuff, but I think Intimidate and overall Gyarados' capability to do interesting stuff with Dragon Dance uh, and Intimidate, it's... It, I think it just does a little bit better. What kind of name should we use? Uh, uh, also, we're probably... Oh, come on, we don't have a battle anymore. I mean, we can just... Back to the last battle I had, which I... This one. Uh, I had quite a few battles. Yonki, uh, that was a cool one, because I used Scott Urge against a... Belladrum set it down. I, I don't know how it's spelled, but... Bird song, and you see it like nothing. No damage. <laughs> they just that it has unaware. And it does similarly interesting stuff against Don Donzo. Uh, that was not my battle. Oh, was it? Oh, was it this one? Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, also, pretty interesting battle. Uh, yeah, uh, Thermal, he figured out Ashley Skeldurge is a problem. Uh, but I survived, and I went for Slack off turn 2, then they decided that Skull Reach is not a problem, and they should switch out. That is not a... That miss was a guarantee, it's not a bug. Uh, Rotomosh, I mean, could, it could be anything, basically, like, I could have switched to Gyarados. Also, this Dodonzo is actually Water Wild, which is just straight up a bad ability. You need Unaware for Mirrors, which you're gonna face a lot, since you, like, dedicate, uh... Half of your team to the Donzo with Flamingo. Uh, or if you are if you want to not bother with Intimidate, you use Oblivious. But Watermail has pretty much no use outside of like Burns, which pretty much only Arcanine has. And uh, I mean, fair enough if you're scared of Arcanine, but come on, Intimidate is as much of a problem for you as it is. Uh, uh, so yeah, that was this battle. Uh, now are we going to get opponents? They're not in lower bracket, I like that. Uh, where are we? Chiyu body bag. Okay, Chiyu. And there's going to be Iron Hands, which I'm really not a huge fan of. I don't like Iron Hands. It is a pretty bad matchup. Also, this battle is going to take a long while. We like, I mean, uh, 
Usually this is like a defensive team, like, come on, you got Lava Plume Dorkle, and, again. <laughs> Lava Plume Dorkle with Yon. People haven't not figured out that Yon is not as valuable anymore as uh, is it was in Dynamax format, because you can basically just uh, carry their Dynamax with Yon, which a lot of Pokemon get, but in its format you can just kind of switch out. <laughs> And it's it's not not really a problem. Yeah, like look at here. It's pretty much a free switch. I mean it's not, but you get the idea. Uh yeah. Any other cool facts about this thing? I mean I got taunt. I mean I got safety goggles mimic you, so I can take care of Amingus, since purifying salt makes me also immunize the status. And this way we can have two Pokemon that are immunity Amingus at the same time, which is super valuable. Uh, valuable for a Trook Room team. Bad name, I'm not sure. Chupinach. Uh, what's the exact translation for that? Well, it's like... You know, scales? That's, uh... Well, it's kind of a name for calling someone with scales. Chupinach. Look at that, that guy got scales. It's Chupinach. More on more check lessons with David Kutash. <laughs> also, that's a special Iron Valiant for some reason. Also, that's a Flash Cannon Iron Moth for some reason. Is he actually going to lose this? No, that's just... I mean, it's still burned. Like, where did the burn come from, though? Oh, it's a dra bull with Dragapult. That's interesting. And yeah, now we just got Torkoal, so that's probably a loss for that going. Okay, just go for Yon, since you're just gonna, just gonna fix it, everything. And, yeah. Lava Plume is interesting. I believe something else cool gets Lava Plume. I'm not, pretty, not sure at the moment what that is. Anyway, Shupinach can do quite a, quite a, make quite a huckers here, I think. Um, yeah, let's try Shupinach with Dragon Dance. The Biak and, I mean, do we even want, do we even want Garganical this game? I don't think we need him. Also, I think the Garganical matchup just got, you know, if we can live worse since we got Gyarados, so. Uh, yeah, we got like five physical attackers. <laughs> So that that's not gonna end well, is it? <laughs> yeah, if they're like dragon type or something organically, we are kind of screwed. What's the hold up? Trainer. Right, Dragapult, that thing got Wolves we saw from last battle. Actually, that's super annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Dragapult is actually like really annoying, but it's Wolves, so... Uh, I mean, it... I mean, we don't even want to uh, outspeed Iron Moth, because this is pretty much a slow Gyarados. Uh, but we, I, th I think we should just still go for Waterfall. Yeah. That did nothing. But Torch, on Torch Song is going to get out of control soon, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go, like, for Runation to half the Garganical's HP. I think that's my win condition against Garganical right now. I mean... Yeah, that does no damage. It's a support Dragapult, after all. And it decides to go for a... Recover for some reason. Also, I'm gonna just get burned by Dragapult. Um... Uh, 
I should have brought in my own Garganical. I'm, I'm seeing uh, things clearly now. And by the way, no, I cannot burn Garganical. That thing has uh, purifying salt. Also, it protects here for some reason. And also, I'm slower than that because uh, Ting Lu sucks. As I did, I proclaim that yet in this video. Yeah, Ting Lu sucks. Uh, oh, he was he was fearing throat show. Right, we're getting kind of out of control with Zubata, so... Also, opponent can't really do... Uh, can't really... Uh, what depressed me with Garganical because I'm a ghost type. So, yeah, opponent will likely salt cure me here, or not. Iron Hands, Quark Drive, Attack Boost. Thank goodness. I was fearing that we would have a moment of respite this battle. Uh, Alrighty, so yeah, uh, by the way, Zubata is also kind of my out against Iron Hands because that thing is really annoying with its. with its fighting type attacks. Now it's Electric Dog, but yeah, we just. Burn that, and that did still a lot of damage, which I'm... Uh, bro. That, like, what's wrong? Like, I mistyped? And I have Stealth Rock instead of Cure. Oh, oh. Ah, that's unfortunate, actually. <laughs> I have Stealth Rock instead of Cure. Okay. Actually, that makes me win this game. Uh... Or he's lying. In that case, I'm probably gonna end the video right, like right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, that crit could have matter actually. Okay, that crit probably matter. Yeah, he he wasn't lying. <laughs> he has stealth rock, uh, which means I can just beat this with super alone. And I'm not changing, uh, changing from that ghost time. Look at that bulk, that's amazing. Yeah, thank goodness, uh, the recovered is only 5 PP this game, because, like, I, he would have probably PP stole my Torch Song. Right, Torch Song, you did well. Yeah. Alrighty, let's continue. Rome 8, and we got Iron Bundle, finally. I used to have Ice Scarf Go Goldengo against this. Just so I can just nag, nag the KO on Iron Bundle early. But that's, uh, that's a thing of the past then. Uh, I'm really scared of this team, by the way, because, like, I mean, alright, I'm gonna go Perfect Propecchini Harachka with Alzaka. Uh, then I'm gonna have these two guys in Trook Root. This team is stacked with power and base stats. And I really don't like that. I mean, I mean, I can just go for... No, I'm not terrestrializing yet. I do not want to... Uh, okay, I think we should live with Harachot Alzaka. I, mean, I, I know Flood Remain is like a really good one, but... Uh, yeah, he yeah, should survive. That's pretty cool. Cool. Uh, that, makes, that makes things a lot easier for us for this game. Uh, we're gonna... I mean, let's just Earthquake. I don't, I mean, do I care? I don't think I care. That I'm gonna knock myself out here. Outer Pump Mist, I don't think that really mattered in the grand scheme of things. Um, like, I mean, I know this guy's like 100% of the time switching to Iron Hands this turn. And by the way, Ruination should KO Flood Remain. Even if it's at 1, at one HP, it should just KO it. 
Yeah, Iron Hands, welcome to the room. Also, that did not KO, and I'm surprised by that. Like, that should not have happened. <laughs> I should have just KO'd that, and everything was supposed to be happy. But... I guess, I mean, is that a we are in Bonnell? It probably is, actually. Actually, I'm gonna throw the chop, just in case they switch back to Flood Remain. Okay, that's not a Salt West Iron Bundle, then it has probably like max special defense or something. Also, hello critical hits. We meet again. Alright, let's just KO the Iron Bundle here. I really need that thing KO'd like right now. Or else, uh, I'll have to like... Okay, good stuff, good stuff. I want to see that. Okay, Iron Bundle is down, that's good. Uh, that Iron Hands is not doing anything to this Gurganical. I mean, I can even throw Slice into a different type if I would really want to. I'm probably just sacrificing Zubata here. Or not, I guess. Um, thunder, some more Thunder Punches, I guess. So it's going to be one, uh, 2v1. I mean, 1v1 in the end. I like that. And I think I can beat, like, everybody with Gurganical, so. Let's come back. King Gambit, okay. I'm gonna throw a slice into grass type and oh okay I don't know. okay cool I didn't expect that uh hopefully the opponent doesn't crit me because that would have been just horrifying I I'm just gonna get salt cure up like right now uh there's there's some reasons to go for recover but uh, uh like this is the only moment he can probably win with a crit Alright, now I'm just gonna spam Recover, and I'm just gonna win. Yeah, life, life for, uh speeds things up. Cool. Organical proved itself worthy yet again. Uh, so when are we getting the new battle? Counter kits? Uh, oh... Oh, and we, oh, we are going to be waiting a long time. So I might just like cut the video uh, once that happens. Uh, and I'm going to resume once we get a battle. I, I think that's a good deal, isn't that? All right. Uh, but but we can still watch this. Uh, I mean, I mean, like, what's uh, preventing you from like pressing that forward button, anyways? So. Uh, if you're not into looking at Iron Bundle, oh no, another Iron Bundle, I don't think. Anyways, that's not a Scarf Chiyu, which is interesting. Also, I'm starting to think Gyarados might not be as good of a choice as I thought it would be. That's mostly because of the fact Organical probably wins the one we want every time. Uh, Mirror's I at least that like every time, and then we got like other problems, like... What was that last, last game? Yeah, basically we used to have uh, Rotom Wash. Just kind of like... Dang the hit from Iron Bundle. Or at least attempt to do so. <laughs> and it's also pretty versatile against like flying types. Like Gyarados itself. I can't believe he did not leave with Palafin. Alright. Alephin is a lot more spammable in singles because like you're switching that there all the time and you can like flip turn and then you go you go like uh hero Pelafin for the rest of the game. Uh it's a bit more complicated in doubles because there's uh switching is kind of more risky. Yeah, I'm just seeing a 
discussion in chat room discussing that it uh, Garganical gets recovered for some reason, and yes, it does. A lot of weird mineral like stuff called recover this generation. I think even Gimme Gold gets that. I mean, uh, Goldengo. Yeah, Chin Pal gets recovered for some reason. Uh, Goldengo gets recovered. I don't even know what Rapska is. I've not seen that in game yet. Beluza gets recovered, but it's kind of like a psychic type, so I, I guess that just. That makes it less interesting. I, what's Rapska? I can look into that, but. Oh, that's. I mean, this guy's not switching that Palafin. I, I understand that the bird is actually pretty dangerous. Uh, uh, by the way, wind power. If you use Talmont, you get charge, free charge. So. Next, uh, electric type attack is double the power. Let's go, Konya. Goodness. Decisions, decisions. I mean, this, at this point, I would be... Tangaton is actually a really good anti-meta Pokemon. You cannot use him as like a game-winning thing like Mega Mobile or Zation was, but it actually got like super good typing and Gigaton Hammer actually nails stuff like Flood Remain and Iron Bundler like really consistently. And I mean it got like Ice Hammer, but it does like only 50% of Amingus. As absurd as it sounds, this Tangaton has only base 75 attack. And yeah, it gets fake out, so it's prime like it, it's and own tempo to be immunized and intimidate, so it's like. Uh, I think this guy is basically a candidate for assault bust. And I mean, you get a player of stuff like the new Salamence, the Roaring Moon. Uh, Konya is playing another man. <laughs> <laughs> really? I oh, am. Yeah. Well, that's great. <laughs> well, that just makes things go less smoothly. Uh, but I mean, we might just get the. Oh, we got this one for you. Houndstone, Sand Rush. This Houndstone is not nearly broken. I mean, you don't even use Slicks Pokemon in this format. And it's double, so you can't like really just click the one button over and over again. Because there is Pokemon in the other slot. Is graphic glitching out, or is it like... Oh yeah, it, it is glitching out. <laughs> uh. Does it not have freeze drum? I mean like... Everything you kind of need on Iron Bundle is like Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, and Hydro Pump. And then maybe Protect or something. Also, it has been discovered there is a new mechanic change. Booster Energy only boosts uh, this stat by 30% if it's not Speed. Speed is boosted by 50%. So that's super interesting. Also, Konya is running out of time. Like, yeah. It yeah, only 20 seconds left. So, Konya has to make really quick choices the next few turns, which... I mean... I mean, is this winnable? Yes, it is. For Konya. I mean, Konya got this. Like, this... Iron Bundle does not have Freeze Drive for some reason, so that's... An L, I guess. Also, I'm thinking she has, like... Oh, he has, like, a five seconds. 30 seconds, okay. Like, what are you thinking about? Just click the jet punch on this thing. This thing cannot touch you. Alright, just predict for no reason. Like, I mean, I, I, I'd assume you have Assault Pass on this thing, so. Uh, because you just know as hacks. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's talking about. I got uh, to seven finals today, and I only won one of these. Hello. <laughs> Toxicity and its uh, 
prime right. Uh -huh. So, what do we got over here? Crook oh my goodness, what's going on there? That's like anti Japanese anti meta team at worlds. Like, okay. Um, are we actually going to get a Dragonite game where actually Dragonite just wins the game? I, I would be really interested to see now. Uh, up again, plus choice band, normal, inner focus, extreme speeds are absolutely hilarious to just watch. So, uh, I'm actually going to get Pozora in the back, that being Garganical, since it has actually a pretty good match against like everything else. I mean, I'm not mean I do uh, sports with Mimikyu plus Garganical anyways. So. How many more bells? What is this? Uh, it's quarterfinals, and we're going to get the semifinals, and is the finals ready already? Yes, it's going on right now, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm, oh, come on, it's Konya is playing another game, so... I'm just gonna activate the timer, like, right now. We don't waste our time. Yeah, by the way, Grim Stroll gets Parting Shot, and it's actually, like... It's not as overpowered, because we got, like, other overpowered stuff in this metagame, but... It's actually pretty good next to Gurganical, but I just chose to use Mimikyu, because... Brook Room is quite good on Gurganical, turns out, and like all of my team. And like all of my team is just super slow, so. I don't trust this Brute Bonnet anymore, like. I tried recording this video before, and I'm all whenever I start recording, I'm always losing two Mingus. Like every time. No exception. Uh, right. For please, let me KO that Chiyu. And let me just extreme speed in peace. Or come on. Don't spore that Zabia. Come on. I know you, you can do this. I know you can do this. And I, I this this guy's like okay. And it's a jerk bun. Great. Why jet but Oh, so Pelophon gets immediately back. Also, look at that damage. That's Thingathon. That's resistant. Although Chiyu is just winning the game now. Or Pelophon is switching in for some reason. Also, that is a very fast Brute Bonnet. And I'm not a huge fan of that. So, you know what? I'm. S I mean, that's flipped her into this. So, I am uh, just double switching, I guess. I would like to really burn a single, at least one turn off slate now, but I need the disguise on this thing, so. Yeah, again, uh, Dragonite gets absolutely destroyed by Mingus on late. That's just the story of my life at this moment. I swear, if they actually flip through the Mimikyu, I'm gonna be like really mad. You got to be kidding me. Okay, so. I think we lose now. Uh, that Chiyu is coming back and he's just clicking overheat and in all honesty I don't think I can do anything to stop that. Also Spore has to be coming in or yeah you can do that as well. And because I already wasted my thirst twice I'm gonna get absolutely plum uh, plummeted by this Gigaton hammer here. And yeah fast Brute Bonnet is something I like would like to look into eventually because like Brute Bonnet has huge potential to be like fast sporer under like Talon for example and it can like exert a lot of offensive pressure next to that as well. I mean okay here is the deal. Opponent doesn't go for Giga okay. The deal did not work. Also that's oh okay okay we got a hot shot over here, and that's, uh, that's actually really creative. Like, who, who would have thought of that? Okay, actually, I believe we can just... Like, you would not even believe how glad I would have been for... I mean, actually, transforming into a uh, grass type would not have been that good. Like, looking into that, uh... Chi you in the back, that's just kinda like uh ready just kinda like having like zero to hero, it's just gonna spore the palfin. 
I'm just gonna recover here. Yeah, Amingus lead against Dragonite is like basically my curse at this moment. <laughs> like next time I'm facing up against Amingus, I'm just ban extreme speeding and torching that uh, Amingus. Although last time I did that, the, the Amingus valued its life so much that it transformed into water type, so... Uh, that's probably not good advice either. Also, yes, this Gargantical can win this game, theoretically, but practically I, I don't believe in that. Okay. Okay, that's good. Alright. And I, I, I think we actually win now. I mean, Chiyu cannot defeat this Gargantical all that S. Okay. Road S. Oh, by the way, this guy's really, like, annoying. Like, this guy is... Uh... What was he doing last time? I I'm not sure if I'm like framing him badly, but I remember someone like last night I was watching and he was like, uh, <laughs> so basically for those unaware, saying GG if you're not one of the players is just kind of like, it doesn't feel alright if you're the guy that's losing the battle. And this guy was like saying GG. <laughs> and then he wrote the habit and then he auto corrected himself the habit again to be as annoying as possible. Like, pure evil. Like that. Like that. I love it. Uh, he's not wait I mean, is this guy not having heat, uh, wave crash? He just has death punch? That would be pretty hilarious, actually. I mean, he would have probably used wave crash already if he had one. I don't know, shit. It's just force of habit again. Speaking of habit. Oh my goodness, that hits so much. Oh, we missed! Oh no! And he's gonna write as or something, isn't he? Or not, okay. Um, I mean, I'm still burning this thing, like... I'm not wasting any time, like... He's using, like, Jet Punch plus Gigaton Hammer this turn, and... Uh, Yeah, actually, this is like really the worst case scenario. Knock off. Okay, that's genuine left pine. <laughs> All right, so this uh, Chi you just gets one shot by the body press. So hopefully, its dark pulse does not hurt too much. Although it probably will. Oh, just you snarl. Excuse me. And drain punch. Okay. Why Snarl, though? Okay. Alright, so this game has transformed into a game that he has to crit. Uh, I'm gonna be so mad if he crits. You know. uh, actually, I can probably just simply win if I just go for, like, a uh, water press here. Oh, yes. Yeah, we won. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, somehow we won this, which I'm absolutely uh, bewildered by. But we continue up in the, up into the tournament. Alright, this looks a bit more standard. And I'm already feeling Zubatas. I mean, good! Oh no, I was about to lead Dragonite uh, Skeletor again, and look at the... Look at that little rascal over there. See him? Yeah. Uh... Uh, I'm still going for it though. Am I? <laughs> like, uh, I have trust issues at this moment uh, with Amingus, so. I mean, do we even want to go for Throw Room here? That's like pretty slow team. But I think I'm good, just going to elect to go with the Throw Room mode. I absolutely love how people use Iron Hands, but they don't realize it's like... I mean, Iron Hands has titanic defense stat. Like, the, the good thing about Iron Hands is, is that it actually tanks physical hits, unlike Hariyama. Like, super well. Uh, but it doesn't have guts. And actually, that's super important in the case of Zubatas match. I'm just gonna taunt this thing.
I ex fully expected to go for a spore, although yes, he can just go for a kind of like a, a crunch or something. Also, what's up with water types just appearing out of everywhere? Anyways, uh... Now the question is, do I think Skeletor is just gonna just win me the game? And the answer is probably not, so... Uh, I don't think Crunch even KOs here. Uh, but I kind of half expect opponent to just switch into Torkoal here. Actually, no, no, he's not doing that. Also, look at the damage. That is max attack, Brute Bonnet. Look at that. That just sounds and feels healthy. Also, that miss sucks. To a Untrained Eye, it sucks, but uh, this guy not getting a free switch into Torgal is actually super good. So, uh, also, I don't think this Bronzong can actually touch this guy, so. Uh, I'm, am I sacking this guy? I think, yeah, but if I can put a Pachanese better in the back. I'm gonna go for, go for slack off the flare up still. Yeah, 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 because of this. Uh, I wanted to do, I wanted health back, and I just want Brute Bonnet dead. And I got HP up, like, uh, again, so... Uh, Iron Hands is in, so we want to below this, like, at all costs. Do you think Vault Church just simply carries me? Alright, we miss another will or another move in this game, which I'm just getting slightly irritated by. Uh, I'm gonna throw a slice and go for iron defense. I mean, you can actually use follow charge pretty effectively with iron hands because you got like such a large HP. Uh, also, next one is finals, right? Maybe I'm gonna actually win. Uh, Counter punch. We actually hit the move, and now we go for slack off and salt cure to, in a pinch. So we actually we are like, by the way, Skeletor is a ghost type, so it's actually immunite to what it press if he has one. But it shouldn't do. Oh, 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 okay, it actually does pretty big damage. I don't know. Uh, actually, we can just burn this thing and recover. Hopefully we can actually hit the Will of Wisp. Also, Flood Remain is in. Noise. Uh, noise. Uh, we're, we're gonna just Salt Cure that. I don't think Shadow Ball is just KOing me. Without a song. Uh, I, I mean, it's definitely... It's gonna be Choice Packs, actually. And that would be pretty bad, but... No, it just chooses to go for that Link Lead. And we do hit the Will of Us, but this does no damage, and now we can Torch Song and just recover. Hit them all, does that KO? It does not, as I expected, because Zubata is super bulky. Yeah, the double healing thing is so cool with this, with this thing. It's super cool to see get slack off. It's like, basically, it's viable because of that. It's as good as it is, just because of that. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I think we're winning this. Yeah. So we're getting into finals, and we're gonna see if I'm actually gonna finally win. <laughs> Big Sir, I'm always passing someone else in the finals. Oh, that's kind of cool. Please give me Dodonzo. I wanted to show. I want to show you how Dodonzo plays. Recording for 39 minutes now, alrighty. I mean, hopefully we're gonna get a finals match, right? Surely we're gonna get. 
Or did we just finish so early that, uh... Hey, we are gonna get a match. Alrighty. And it, it exactly looks like my horse Nightma. And that is, again, there is Amingus. And there is Pokemon that Dragonite needs to be used to deal with, so... Uh, are we gonna go Subata again? I mean, let's go. Let's just go with that. And... Yeah, his team is pretty bad for Drukrim, so we're gonna get, get like, Garganicle and Mimikyu in the back. Yes! Have you... Are you seeing this, people? There is actually not a, uh... Amigus on the link, so that's super nice. Although, yes, this Fluttermane thing is actually a problem. <laughs> uh, yes, we do have actually Shadow Snake, so we can actually deal with this decent level. Are we gonna see Quick Guard? We're not gonna see Quick Guard, and that just one shot. And yes, uh, I. by the way, hopefully the Booster Energy was nerfed already, so it doesn't just one shot stuff like it. Should not be, because yes, it should be on a 30 percentage boost. And it just warms my heart to see Skylurge actually take this attack. This is just so cool. Iron Hands, that's actually kind of a problem right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, because like... Uh, I mean, that's definitely a close combat, right? So... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, actually, this is, like, super bad now. Like, uh, we need to use the... Okay, so it goes for... We should be living that with Zubata. Yes, we are. Good. Good stuff. And yes, we're hitting the Volus, which is super important. Uh, and now we're going to go for Helping Hand Shadow Snake to just get the plot remaining. Oh, no, we are not, but... Uh... Right, I'm switching to Dragonite now. I don't think Lost Combat just simply carries me. And I do think uh, Plurof should do it KOs. Alright, it protects, but Iron Hands should not be KOing me in one hit. We should be KOing it in two. Or it just goes for a Bulldoze to just uh, assert dominance. I'm not going to iron defense, there is nothing in the back that can actually take uh, extreme speed, so... I'm, I mean, Shadow's thing would have KO'd, so... Alright, uh, Amigus is in, that thing is actually really annoying. If... Ooh, we're living, we're living. Yeah, no way this thing got for that. Out of all these moves, no way this thing got for that. Hopefully opponent goes for Rage Powder. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, but a Purifying Salt, so opponent kind of screwed up in last last moment. Uh, there, there were still, I think there was a chance I could have just won this game anyways. I could have just recover spammed until... Uh, uh, then maybe was fainted, and then I could have just sold cured, which would have instantly carried Fluttermane. So. Yeah, extreme speed, just get a Fluttermane. Uh -huh. Cool! We won the Rune Tournament. And uh, for all these times, uh, I okay, guess some congratulations. There has been always, always a lot of these. But... Organical, yes. Organical is really good as it turns out um uh, so yeah it's it's like a day four of scarlet and violet so i'm not trying to just say something is good but i think organical is going to kind of stay here so hopefully you learned something new from this video i think i explained the theme out in the beginning so there is no need to just go over that again uh but yeah hopefully you learned something new and i'll catch you next time